All right. This almost looks like a, a not. I, I wasn't gonna say constructed. Um, I was gonna say this almost looks like a deck that we designed and limited. You know what I mean? Harold's gonna make our sigil cheaper. Uh oh, the old thornbow archer on turn one. All right. Well, we're holding these or or uh, enchantments until we get that sigil. But hopefully we can get a turn. Ooh. Turn four sigil? Don't mind if I do. Hope he doesn't kill Harold. That could cause some issues. Yeah, I think it'd be wishful thinking to think our opponent's not going to second main phase of land. Although, I'd love to believe he kept a one lander with a, just because of a Thornbow Archer. Nope. He's got a two-drop play. All right. All right. Well, we're in pretty big trouble. That's like ideal turn progression. I mean, we got our turn progression too, but we're not in a, not in a great place yet. We need to get a Sigil of the Empty Thrown out first. So, hopefully no kill spell for Harold. That's ideal. I don't know if I can afford to not block either. That's tough. No, I mean, play around a combat trick here. Come on. Let's go. I, that's so bad. I can't. I mean, think about it. If I just take five here, I go to 13, then he gets to follow up play, then I don't get to do anything, then he gets to get in for at least five, then I get to play Sigil, then the next turn after that. Like, it's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. But I can't imagine him attacking if he didn't have a combat trick here. Man. See, but... It's it's a double-edged sword. Like, if I don't block, I take five, he gets a follow-up play. If I do block, he combat tricks, but at least he doesn't get a follow-up play. Does that make sense? It's horrible. Either way, I'm playing into a combat trick. I, I feel as though I don't have a choice. I don't know how I, I don't play into a combat trick here. I honestly have no idea how I could afford to not take a million damage there. Like... You think I can afford to take five and do nothing for another turn, then take at least another five plus Titanic growth? Like, that's the most awful thing I could possibly think of. I would absolutely be dead if I didn't if I didn't block and try and resolve a turn four sigil while taking whatever he's got there plus another post-combat play. He just happened to have the nuttiest turn progression an elf deck could ask for. We had the nutty turn progression too, but I think that's just a testament of the overall power level. Our deck is obviously not very good. Yeah. So I would have, if I didn't block that last turn, I would be at eight plus he could have had a three drop. Maybe he didn't have a three drop, but... He's got multiple Dwine and Elite. This is not going to be pretty. All right. Well, something to do, but are we dead? I think we're dead next turn. I block Thornbow Archer. I take five. I go to four. Yeah, we're super dead. All right. Well, I guess I bring in Shonda's Fury again, but it doesn't even do that well in this match. Takes out extra stuff he gets on top of his guys. We're just getting absolutely destroyed. Wow. 
Wow. All right. That was... Uh... How did my opponent lose? I think that's the, the more important question. How did my opponent lose? <laughs> How in God's name did my opponent lose? Um, in round one, I mean. Uh, so how could I possibly win this? How could I possibly win? Chandra's Fury to take out a Visionary and X round Dwinesley. It's so not good. It really isn't even good. It's like totally not good enough. Maybe it's better than Swift Reckoning, though, because, yeah, I guess Reckoning's pretty bad, too. All right, let's make our mana base worse and try this again. Yeah, seven green is still enough. Gear Crafter actually seems good. Hmm. What would I bring out for that? Is three red sources enough for two spells? Probably. Gearcrafter seems like it blocks a couple things, though, maybe. But it's hard to cast. I think it's probably ultimately not worth it. All right. Let's try this again. Yeah, we'll keep. It's not a good hand, but it's got some colors in it. At least we got all four of our colors. Pono Mulls to six. Take everything we can get at this point. I don't think we're ready to play the Evolving Wilds. There's our Helm of the Gods. Well, could play Leap. Makes Helm slightly better. Alright, we'll play Leap. I mean, yes, I understand our deck is pretty reliant on Sigil of the Empty Throne doing things, but when you don't have Sigil of the Empty Throne and you've got Helm of the Gods, I think maybe you switch game plans. I still think I might make this trade. Especially if he's off green mana. Because that way he can't play the Dwinin's Elite. And he can't play Titanic Growth. Ah, screw it. I'm, I'm going to take it. I feel like if I don't find a creature, I'm in some trouble. So this might actually be better. Ooh, Stalwart Haven's good. I guess I can't play my... I can't use my leap now, but that's okay. All right, no green mana. That's all we can ask for. I'm actually glad he didn't attack there. Because I think I actually would have taken it. <laughs> Double Helm of the Gods. There it is. There it is. All right, let's go Swamp. Try and play Swamp. I am clicking here, folks. It really is It really is that painfully slow, and I, I have no idea why. Uh, I guess we put it on Construct, huh? And I'm leaving up Evolutionary Leap for removal we could end up dealing with. Let's 
Next turn we get another Helm of the Gods. And then we're really beaten down. If he's off green mana for the rest of the game, we're in sick shape. Thornbow Archer for days. Yoke Docks, sure. Let's go Helm. Equip. Yoke Docks, Evolving Wilds, pass. Probably block and then end of his turn, sack the Yoke Docks. Oh, there goes Sigil of the Empty Throne. Well, at least we have a shuffle effect. I think we can find our... Uh... I think I'm actually going to shuffle. I, I still want to draw Sigil. Let's get our second white. We don't need the red, I guess. All right, well, maybe we don't need the white either. Oh, jank deck wins. All it takes is uh, opponent getting color screwed. Look at that. Hot Helm of the Gods action. Plus one, plus one equipment. Pretty impressive, huh? <laughs> um, the funny thing is Meteorite's not even that bad. Meteorite actually... Guarantee kills something unlike Chandra's Fury. I, I, I might even want to be off the Chandra's Fury plan now. I don't like it enough. I'd almost just rather do Meteorite, in which case we take out that and bring back the green mana. Like, <sighs> Meteorite's not very good either, but... Maybe I do... Maybe I do Gearcrafter instead, actually. Let's, let's do Gearcrafter instead. I feel like Gearcrafter actually does something. I feel like it does more than Chandra's Fury, to be honest. Since we're so creature light. God, Guardians is terrible here, too. Just Thornbow Archer beat down. All right. We almost wish I had more Bonded Constructs. or Even Healing Hands is just too janky. Nissa's Revelation is the absolute worst in this match. Actually, Tainted Remedy is the absolute worst, and then Nissa's Revelation. So many dead cards. I guess Tainted Remedy actually does something in this deck. All right, I, I think we got to run it like this. I, I don't know what else to do. I could bring in a Slug, I guess. Maybe Slug's better than Gearcrafter, because it blocks well. It's more expensive. I don't even know if we can afford I See, the problem is I don't even think we can survive till turn five if he's got a good draw. Wish I could cut these rares. All right, let's do it. Got our work cut out for us. Double white. Stoward Aven. I think we actually have to keep this hand. 
If we draw any land, we can play Stalwart Avent. Not that Stalwart Avent's insane here, but... No Thornbow Archer on turn one. That's good. All right. Yeah, all right. This hand's actually... Believe it or not, we've got ourselves a turn progression now, and we've got some life gain going on, too. All right. Visionary. There it is. The old Helm of the Gods. So next turn we can go Mantle of Webs, Grasp of the Hyromancer. We get out of Reeve's Soul Range. Um, and then turn after that, Helm of the Gods, Beatdown? Undercity Troll. All right. Got all the plays. The plays for days. Hitchclaw Recluse or Stalwart Haven or Mantle of Web's Grasp or I mean we've got we've got some options here. I think we likely play Stalwart Haven and pass. I'm trying to think if there's a better play. I don't think so. I think we do that. This gives us some decisions to make, at least, for next turn. All right, it's actually not that intimidating. Could have Mighty the Masses, but we're definitely blocking here if he goes all in. If he went in with just Troll, I still think I probably would have blocked it. All right, we, we've got ourselves a game plan here, so I think the plan is... Recluse plus Mantle of Webs. Could do Grasp too, but let's do Recluse. Let's do Mantle of Webs on Avon and get in. Could do Mantle of Webs on Herald too, but. All right, yeah, that's probably better, actually. I mean, he can now... If he has removal for Avon, we're in some trouble. But I do kind of want to get renowned. I think we allow ourselves one potential turn of getting whacked if he has if he has removal for Harold, we're in some trouble. But he's only got three cards left. There's a chance he doesn't have removal. Might have to go for a little race if we can. Night snare. All right. Is he going to take Helm of the Gods? I think so. Which is actually okay. Oh, discard two cards? Alright, Revelation's gone. And... Um... Grasp versus Helm of the Gods. That's a question. Probably... Well, I don't know. I mean, Revelation at least is an easy one. Helm versus Grasp. Does Grasp do more here? If I play Grasp on a Herald and I tap down a Deadbridge Shaman, he can't kill it and he can't regen. And I get in for quite a bit of damage. Otherwise, Helm gets better with more enchantments. Ah, we've got another Helm. We'll, we'll ditch these two. But 
is putting grasp on the herald incorrect though? Oh, tainted remedy. Yeah, it's sexy, real sexy. Uh, maybe I want to put it on Stoward Aven. He would have to block with these three. I could kill Deadbird Shaman and Thornbow Archer. That's not great. Guess we put it on Harold. I don't love this either. Problem is, if I put it on Avon, he can still... Well, I guess he can't. So I put it on Avon. I tap down Deadbridge Shaman. He takes six. All right. He can crack back, but it's a race we're winning at least. Could have Might of the Masses, but I... Can't afford to play around that. I block Dead Bridge Shaman if he attacks with that, yeah. Tainted Remedy doesn't do anything for us anyway. Come on, lag. Hurry up. There we go. Renown's not that big of a deal. Tainted Remedy certainly doesn't do anything, so that's okay. Dwayne's Elite. You lucky duck. Bad draw, but what can you do? All right, so keep swinging for the fences here. Wish I had a follow-up play. Man, that would be so sweet if I could play something here. I'm not even sure if we're winning the race anymore. I mean, I kind of feel like we might be. I mean, I guess I have lethal if I swing with Recluse next turn. So he has to leave two blockers back. He does have to leave two blockers back. If he attacks with everything, I'm almost curious if I just take it. Because if he's drawn a pump spell, I still don't think we're dead, right? We take two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus four from Titanic Growth would be 13. I could afford to take 13, and he would have to play two blockers, but he does have, he does run multiple Dwinans Elite. All he needs is another Dwinans Elite, and Grasp brings him out of that range. All right, if he's leaving a blocker back, then I assume he's going to play another one, so I think I just block the Undercity Troll.
Uh oh. Why are you regenning? What the? Um, that doesn't do anything. Do you lose? Sure thing. So, got a free win. Love it. Opponent did not have to die there, but opted to. Hey! Jank.deck beats uh, aggro elves. That looks pretty solid, so we'll take that victory for sure. Like I said, opponent did not have to die there. I do not... I think... Did they forget about Grasp, or why did they put the Regen Shield up? Was that a mistake? I don't know what was going on there. That was just weird. Um, even if he had cast the Titanic Growth on the Undercity Troll, it would have been better for him. I, I just don't know what he was thinking. But, uh, all right, well, I'll definitely take a win with this deck, and we'll move on to the finals. Or, round three. We definitely did not make it to the finals with this.